it's a hot summer day. You drive up to a house and you take a look at the pads. And there's a pad or two that look different than the others. And you're trying to figure out what's the difference between these two and is it a problem? It's not because there's a clogged up hole. It's not because this is a different pad. It's simply because this pad was installed upside down. And though it may not seem like a big deal, when you install a pad upside down, you reduce the cooling of the pad slightly, you encourage mineral buildup, which reduces airflow into the house, and you reduce the life of the pad. Here's a small piece of six inch, 45 by 15 degree flute angle pad. This is probably on 90% of the poultry houses or greater in the U.S. What is the purpose of the flute angles? The flute angles basically the channels in the pad that the water and the air flow through. Here you can see a 15 degree flute angle. Here's the outside surface of the pad. We have a 15 degree flute angle or flute flute pointing down towards the inside of the house. Now, if we look at this other side of the pad where I've had it cut, you can actually see both flutes. Here's that 15 degree flute angle pointing to the inside down to the inside of the house. And here's the 45 degree flute angle pointing down towards the outside surface of the pad. What is the purpose of these two different flute angles? The primary purpose of this is to encourage water flow to the outside surface of the pad. This not only helps to thoroughly wet the pad, but it also, most importantly, helps to keep the leading edge of that pad clean. We need water flowing over the surface of that pad to help remove dust and to prevent mineral buildup. When we get mineral buildup in these pads, it restricts the airflow through the pad, which reduces our airspeed, which reduces our bird cooling. So, here we have it. Here's the outside of the house. 45 degree flute angles pointing down towards the outside surface of the house to keep water flowing on this outside surface. As the air pulls through air through the pad, it helps pull some of that water back into the pad. Now, the problem is if we install the pad upside down, like this. It looks the same, black coating on the outside surface. But now the 45 degree flute angles are pointing to the inside surface of the pad. The 15 degree flute angles are pointing to the outside of the pad. What this does is encourages all the water, or most of the water, to flow to the inside surface of the pad, making the outside of the pad tend to be dry. There will still be wetted inside, but the biggest problem is the outside surface will have very little water flowing over it, which leads to the buildup of minerals, and dust and dirt on the pad, thereby reducing cooling and reducing the life of the pad. When you look at this pad and you understand the purpose of the flute angles on the pad, you realize this pad is installed correctly. The outside surface is wet. The 45 degree angle is pointing down towards the ground outside. But this pad right here is installed upside down. The 45 degree flute angles are pointing towards the inside of the house, which encourages water to the inside surface. And getting water to the outside surface is difficult. It will happen because the, the water will wick throughout this nice paper pad, but the outside surface will tend to be drier than a pad where the 45 degree flute angle is pointing towards the ground outside. So you see these are all installed correctly. This one's upside down. These are installed correctly. This one is upside down. So you can see since this leading edge tends to be drier, you can lose some cooling, especially on hot, dry days. Now it's not going to be a big difference because the interior of that pad is actually wet. It's just the leading edge that tends to be dry. So from a cooling standpoint, it doesn't make a huge difference. It makes some difference, but what it really makes a difference is 
in terms of keeping your pads clean. Because there's less water flow over the surface of this pad, the minerals tend to build up faster on this pad than on this pad. Yes, we get water here, but there's not enough to help clean that pad, and as a result, minerals build up. So the actual difference in cooling might not be great, but as this clogs up with minerals and dirt and dust, it's more difficult to pull air through the pad, which means we're going to lose airspeed. One simple way to test if your evaporative cooling pads are installed properly is to take a stick, a piece of wire, some zip ties, and insert them into the holes. And what I'm trying to see right here, see this one's going up. That one, that's a 45 degree angle down. So I know that pad is installed correctly. Now, if I get the other flute, that's my 15 degree flute angle that's down to the inside of the house, which is the right way. When I go to this pad, I install it, put in my, my little zip tie here. There's my 45 degree angle, but it's 45 degree angles down into the house, which again will bring water to the inside surface of the pad where we want on the outside. And I play with my 15 degree flute angle, and there's my 15 degree flute angle. 45 down into the house, and the 15 degree angle down towards the outside of the house. So this pad is installed improperly. So again, here are my little pieces of zip tie. I slid them into the hole, so I come in a profile view. You can see this first one, the 45 degree angle is down towards the outside of the house, and the 15 degree angle is down towards the inside of the house. We go to the pad that's installed upside down, the 45 degree angle is pointing towards the inside of the house, making the water go to the inside of the pad, and the 15 degree flute angle is pointed down outside, and that's why, again, we have less water flowing over the surface of this pad. It's getting a little wet, but it's not getting the outside leading edge isn't getting wet. And you can see all the mineral buildup because of it. Let's take a look at these pads close up. Here are the pads that are installed properly with the 45 degree flute angle pointing down towards the outside of the house, encouraging water flow on the outside surface of the pad. And you can see here, despite these pads being almost 10 years old, they look in pretty good shape. Sure, there's a little dirt on them and all that, but all in all, the flutes look pretty open. Now, let's go over to this pad that's installed upside down, and you immediately see a, a difference. With this one, the water flows on the inside of the surface of the pad and not this outside leading edge, which just causes the minerals to build up. There's not, not that natural flushing of the surface of the pad with water to minimize that mineral buildup. And as we go to the top of the pad, you see it gets worse and worse. Up here at the top, this pad's almost totally clogged. Why? because we don't have enough water flowing over the surface of that pad to keep it clean. There's enough water to get maybe the outside surface a little wet, but not to keep it clean. The water evaporates, leaves the minerals behind. The water evaporates, leaves the minerals behind. And over time, because we don't have that 45 degree fluid angle pointing to the outside, because we don't have water flowing over the surface of the pad, it does this as opposed to this. Now you can imagine if the whole house was installed upside down, these pads would all have to be replaced because there is no cleaning this. So by installing the pads properly with that 45 degree angle float going towards the outside of the house, where we get good water flow over the surface of the pads, we maximize our cooling, minimize, minimize the mineral buildup in the pad, which helps us to pull more air through the pads and we maximize pad life. Again, 
good water flow over the surface of the pad, poor water flow over the surface of the pad. So the next time you pull up to your house, take a quick look at your pads. Do some of them look different? Are they lighter colored? Is there more mineral buildup on them? If you see those differences, chances are you have some pads that are installed upside down. 